By subscribing today, you get the Fisherman Magazine every week, the chance to enter the Dreamboat Challenge, and unlock the great features of the new Fisherman website. Today, we will be jig fishing blackfish using light tackle in the Long Island Sound with my good friend, Captain Eugene Maslowski. It's gonna be a great day. So Gene, so basically what's the plan? What, we, uh, what are we gonna be doing today now? Well, we're gonna try to catch some blackfish on jigs. We're gonna head up to uh, Northern Connecticut in Long Island Sound, try to blackfish for jigs on some high reef spots in probably anywhere from 13 to 25, 30 feet of water okay. using Asian crabs. So right now, Eugene's driving around looking for some prime structure. We're looking for those high boulders, real thick, nice rocky bottom, which is going to hold the blackfish. So what we're going to use here is a, a marker buoy. So when he does come over something, he's going to tell me to throw it overboard, and that will land on the spot. And now we have it marked. Once it's marked, we pull up, we anchor, and we put the boat right where we marked it, and it should be game on. Okay, so Eugene, how's this going to work today? What are, what are we going to do? Well, basically what we're using is we're going to use these jigs which you can buy. I actually make these jigs from a do-it mold. And they're basically just a, a 3 0 hook in different weights. What we have here is a quarter, three ounce, and a three quarter inch jig. And you can see the size difference. Depending on the current or the depth would depend on the size of the jig. I mean, they get a lot bigger than this, but a 3 0 hook is basically, in my opinion, one of the better hooks for fishing for blackfish. When you get to the larger jigs, the hooks, the hooks usually get too large. They go to a 4 0 and a 5 0. Okay. So those are the three basic sizes, and what we're going to be using are Asian crabs, which are an invasive species of crab, which are locally collected on the rocks. You can find anywhere where you have a, a rocky shoreline at low tide, go out there and turn the rocks over and you'll find these crabs. And this is the primary food source, in addition to other crabs, for the blackfish. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the jig, and we're going to impale the crab on the jig. I mean, there's many ways you can do it. You could cut the legs off, you could quarter the crab. Because they're small crabs, I use them whole. Okay. And what I usually do is I'll break the large claw off. It doesn't matter if you break it off, but they, they bite you, so I take the claw off. And then enter the rear leg socket and out the front socket. And to make it a little more inviting to the blackfish, what I like to do is I like to smash the corner of the shell a little bit just to let a little bit of the insides out. It gives a little scent, it gives a little scent in the water and <clears throat> seems to attract the fish more than leaving them whole. Another trick we actually do on the south shore is we'll take the crabs... We'll crush them, we get the rod on the bottom. Once the weight hits the bottom, we snap the back of the rod, and it kind of forms like a little chum slick. Oh, that's a good idea. So if the structure's behind us, that the, like the particles of the crab are going into the rocks, and out of fish will cause swimming out of the rocks, and swimming up that, that food, like that chum line a that you're making. A chum slick. Yes. And then basically what you're going to do is just cast it to the bottom and try to feel around for the rocks. The current is very strong today, so to hold bottom is going to be difficult. We might have to go up with a, a heavier jig. And I mean, when you're, when you're fishing with a sinker, with a high-low rig, the, method, the preferred method is to keep the bait as still as you can. Okay. But when you're jig fishing, it's quite the opposite. You want to bounce it very slowly on the bottom, trying to feel the bottom and feel your way around the rocks, and hopefully entice a blackfish to bite. And usually, because the jigs are so small, and the crab is connected to the jig, they actually see it as a, a, you know, a prey species. So they'll actually pounce on it, rather than tap on it, like with a traditional high-low rig with a sinker. Right, so it's looking like the crab's basically walking exactly. along the bottom. It's more natural looking. Yeah, he was pouncing for a while. But... Ah, that's a little guy. The elusive Mr. Tog. That's it, finally got one. You got, a, you got a good shot on him, too. Yeah, that hooks right through him. There you go. I'm getting better. I mean, what an amazing fish. It's a better fish. Yeah, it's a nice one. But that would be a keeper. Yeah, that would, that's definitely a keeper right there. But he will go back. Yes. Eugene, thank you so much for today, man. I had a great time, really learned a lot, and I, I find it amazing that here we are both living on the same island, and, you know, North Shore does something different than the South Shore, and it's, it's incredible just to go to 
other places and learn these different type of fishing techniques. And thank you so much for showing me everything today. I really appreciate it a lot. Well, I enjoyed having you on the boat. And uh, the season's just beginning. It's only going to get better. And I'll enjoy having you out very, very soon. I will definitely be coming back again. A lot of fun. Thank you again. Thank you, Joe. Talk to you soon.